other equipment that's being used in the building. And the other thing is on the resources side. What are the resources is available for us to carry out any of these studies? Hello, sorry, can you hear me? I'm having some problem with my mic now. <laughs> okay, so what are the resources uh, they available? So in terms of the domain expertise, the people who are running the system or the operator level, and what are the competency skill set actually available? And also install instrumentation. What are kind of measurement instrument that is available within the facility itself? And then knowledge and experience. And in terms of doing out all this measurement, what is expectations? Okay, what is the uh, expected investment of returns? And what is the in terms of the uh, issue that you're facing? Not besides just design, maybe maintenance. And also any require reg regulatory requirement on the local itself, or even company policies. Okay. And to start off with all this, hello, sorry. Any questions coming up from there? Hello, sorry, can you hear me? Yes, can you, we can hear you. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm having some problem with my mic, it's just a battery flat, I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, and in adopting all those energy study, um, in most industrial sites, we will still follow the ISO practice. So, uh, in the ISO 50001, it talk about energy management system. So, the program they need to establish to actually carry out all these energy studies. And in terms of the final outcome objective is to actually, the, uh, I would say, improve the, the facilities. And in general, most people were expecting to get benefit in terms of the reduction of the operating costs and uh, energy consumption. And before we can get to all this project and study and understanding the system, so we also need to carry out one activities we call energy audits. And in energy audits, um, preferably it will be a carry out by uh, experienced uh, individual or professional. And within the industry, actually, they will have actually the certification for uh, energy managers, or in some country, or they will also have uh, certified energy auditors. So this will be the individual that is being so called uh, being uh, accredited or trained and practice in the industry. And the purpose of energy audit is to be establish information. And the information that we are looking at is when we talk about improvement that has been done. So in order to justify that, so we also need to be able to establish a proper baseline, which is a point of reference that we're starting all the, the improvement work. And then we also have to come up with a certain area of studies that where can where are the area improvement or where are the area for even at times you do some uh, ratifications but after you finish all this work how do we quantify that or justify the improvement that is done is it genuine? Uh, which means that it should not be something that by guess or by uh, basing the reference to industrial what others doing uh, energy audit purely expressive uh, facts and data based on your system and this system actually is based on throughout uh, the also the energy data they've been collected and uh, the system installed within the building so energy audit will not be a kind of so-called a standard practice uh, that report you can just duplicate use from building to building it's actually uh, unique for every building or every facility or every premises and what we actually, end of the work we are trying to do in energy audit is to find facts and data and understand the building, understand the system. 
to, to explore area or room for improvement. And all this room improvement at the end of the day, unless it's a cap, we call a capital replacement that you need is time due for the end of life cycle of the equipment. So they will just need to get a, a budget to get it replaced. But in some cases, you may come across equipment has been installed and actually is still within the life cycle. So this energy study and with the audits that we carry out, it help us establish facts to make justification, to make sure that whatever actually the project they implemented is to actually give the benefit to the end user or the building owner. We have a, a acceptable um, payback and return. And more important, uh, when we talk about energy saving, uh, it should not be saving at the expense of comfort or disrupt to the operation. Disrupt the operation in terms of facility itself, industry. The main revenue source is not come from the comfort or aircon itself for human, but more or less is to make sure the production line, the operation line is running using the energy at the right time and effectively. So that helps to reduce the operational cost and make it more competitive. And in all these phases, usually we will divide them into three stages. Uh, investigation phase, monitor phase, and analyze and reporting phase. So investigation phase, this is where we talk about the energy audit. And uh, in audit itself, it depends what, how, what level of audit you are doing. The audit actually, they also, under the SEO standard, you also categorize into three level, or in ISO, it categorizes into three types. 